Kia ora everyone, welcome to beautiful McCullum's Bay out here in the Hodaki Gulf. Does this look like a dream? It should and it could be your dream too. For sale is my bay liner. Now I thought I'd do this video to sort of go through it head to toe and uh, hopefully answer all the questions that you might have, save asking them in the, in the comments there. Um, yeah, this is a 1989 bay liner Capri. Okay, it is a cabin boat. Pretty rare, a lot of them are bow riders. Uh, we've had this boat since uh, 1990. In case of this photo is of me as a baby on it, so it's been in the family and uh, we've had a lot of good memories on it. But yeah, time to move on now, time to time to get something a bit bigger and see what the next chapter holds. Um, I did a full refit on this boat, so I used to work for Tristram Marine. Uh, when I worked there, I basically gutted it and uh, rebuilt a lot of it. Um, so glassed all, so you have a, a deck and a hull, I glass all, all back together, strengthened the hull. I also added the anchor locker okay so before the anchor was in the middle which was a pain um, it's an anchor locker now fully glassed in all this cabin's been redone um, they've got the, the infill cushions there um, which can go in and you can actually sleep quite comfortably in there I also made more room down here so there's a setup with um, I should move that out of the way really shouldn't I so you store your skis and stuff here there's also access to the fuel tank as well this this can be moved Okay, the old style was glassed in, and if you ever had a crack in the tank or anything like that, you're obviously in trouble. So I took the time to do that and re-glassed all this as well. I've also put a brand new battery as of yesterday, which is um, 1st of December. Okay, so one battery there with a battery switch, and a second battery here. Uh, this bit of a house battery runs all the things like the fish finder it is just a fish finder only behind me here not a gps i've got the gps on my phone boss stereo with the two speakers down here goes pretty hard um the other thing too you won't so the johnson 150 i should say johnson 150 um to be honest i don't know how many hours it has never had an hour meter um i got this motor second hand it had bought been bought off a guy from down taranaki who wanted to do game fishing and went to a four stroke I picked it up about five or six years ago. I would maybe average 15, 20 hours a summer. So I do the maths on that. I, I don't know the hours. Um, a lot of the services I've done myself, it's really easy. Um, and then I've had the odd one done by, by professionals. Um, what I have done though, these, oil, these engines here pre-mix their own oil. So you normally have an oil reservoir, which is great when it works. The thing called the VRO sucks the oil out and mixes it. Okay, when it doesn't work, you're in trouble and it normally doesn't work when you're a long way from shore so I bin that system and I premix. I premix at a 50 to 1 ratio so if the engine's going it's getting oil um, so just a little bit of a safety thing for me um, what else these are back-to-back -back seats okay so these lie flat you can pull them out turn them into sun lounges um, I have a full cover which I'll show you back at home and I'll show you the trailer too it's a bunk trailer we'll go through that back on the land as well um, what else can I tell you? It's a cable steering system, okay? Um, got a bilge pump, got nav lights, got some cool blue strip lights through here, which I put in. Um, and, cracky, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, wakeboarding, it's a boat's pretty good for wakeboarding and stuff. Um, it, it used to live on the lake, so I used to live down the Waikato. So I used to do all the lakes and, and stuff down there. So it's had probably, I don't know, maybe 70, 30 fresh water use, so 70 salt, 30 fresh water. Um, hey look, it's a 1989 boat, I'm not going to lie to you, is it perfect? No, there's a few things that um, that aren't so great, but you know, it's it's, it's age. It's a seaworthy boat, it's safe and it's fun. Um, you know, in terms of like cons, okay, the trailer, it's in pretty good nick if it gets a warrant and stuff. Um, and I've sprayed a whole lot of rust killer and stuff. I would I would come and look at it, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's, I mean it gets warrants, but does it look like showroom new? Obviously not. Um, the bunk trailer is really cool too. You actually can like drive the boat on. I find that real handy. Okay, particularly because I do a lot of boating by myself. Um, yeah, plenty of storage and stuff. If you've got any other questions, um, yeah, reach out. I'll also put some photos up. And um, I live at Kawakawa Bay. Happy to do sea tests if if uh, if you're you know genuine about it. Um, yeah, hope this helps. Hey, so we're back at home now, and I thought I'd um, give you a little look at the trailer. I was supposed to do it at the boat ramp with the boat off, but oh, there's a bit of a muck up at the boat ramp. Anyway, 
Um, the trailer, I've, to be fair, I've probably been harsher than I, I should. What I've done is I've painted rust killer on some of these areas where um, a bit of surface rust is starting to appear and I've replaced a few of these bolts and bits and pieces. Um, I've also replaced these recently, the, um, the suspension, the leaf, leaf springs. Um, like I said, it is a bunk trailer, so you float on. Uh, it was actually pretty handy before when I was just doing it by myself. I guess you can just skid it on and sometimes like drive it on a little bit and then just wind the rest. Um, you do have to float it off, so you do go a little bit deeper than perhaps you would with a roller trailer. Um, it's got these bits out to the side where the lights and stuff are right. Uh, I had those made. Again, you can see some sort of surface rust on those, but they're not structural, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'll stick the camera up under there. You can see, hopefully, pretty, pretty good. I always flush water down through here um, and a bit of like either salt away or something, whatever I'm using. Um, yeah, and this trailer will come with obviously red gel and warrant ready to go. So um, I put new lights on too. Those new lights I just showed you were new like eight months ago or something. Whenever, in fact, for the last warrant, so maybe coming up a year now. Um, yeah, jockey wheel, everything like that. Trailer winch. This is um, like a one to one trailer winch. It is quite slow, but it kind of needs to be because it is heavier dragging it across those skids there. So, yeah, hopefully this answers your questions about the trailer. Um, yeah, new mud guards too, pretty pretty recent. And uh, new marker lights there too. But yeah, hopefully this answers all your questions. Um, this photos and stuff as well, obviously reach out. This is a cool boat, I, I love it. I'm so sad to see it go. But it is time to move on as you can see. I've got the new one behind me, so. Yep, times are changing. But um, yeah, hopefully you're gonna love it as much as I do.